And welcome back to Hannity. The Republican National Committee has issued a bold ultimatum for both NBC and CNN, threatening a GOP boycott of any primary debate hosted by either network in 2016. Now, this threat stems from CNN's announcement about the production of a documentary exploring the public and private life of Hillary Rodham Clinton, as well as NBC's announcement that it would also promote the potential 2016 presidential candidate in its own four-hour mini-series on the former Secretary of State. Now, earlier today, CNN responded to the RNC's concern, writing in part, quote, instead of making premature decisions about a project that is in the ver very early stages of development and months from completion, we would encourage the members of the Republican National Committee to reserve judgment until they know more. All right, here now to explain his side of the story, Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus. Right? Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks, Sean. All right. Uh, how uh, certain are you that this will be a love letter to Hillary? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, the fact of the matter is you've got two networks that are potentially spending millions of dollars promoting a person that they know is at least doing the dance and getting ready for a run for president. And I think it's just about a, a, a time that our party stands up and protects the party and our candidates from networks that are not in the business of promoting our party. They're not in the business of promoting our candidates. They're not in the business of doing anything but promoting the Democratic Party. And I'm not going to sit around and watch watch this happen anymore. So look, in, 20, in, in a couple years ago we had a 23 debate traveling circus and I think it's about time that we cut out those people that are actually spending their time and money promoting our opponents. I'm not going to sit around and let it happen anymore. That's all I'm saying. Listen, they can go I, ahead I'm, and do it. I'm glad to hear you say this. I can, I can say no. Yeah, yeah. Because are any of the, the Democratic candidates, are you, or will they do a debate on Fox? I tend to doubt it. Right. Well, in fact, in fact, they, the Democrats actually banned Fox from the debates uh, when Hillary and Obama were debating each other. You might remember. Uh, and remember the outrage uh, with the Citizens United, uh, uh, the Citizens United uh, film when they went forward, and all the liberals were up in arms about Citizens United. Well, where are they now? I mean, the fact that these folks, including many people that are at NBC, one of which is a major bundler for Barack Obama, would be surprised that we would actually exercise our own right to filter who actually deposes our candidates and who doesn't, I think I'm being very reasonable here. No, uh, look, I, here's what I saw in 2012. Correct me at any point where you think I might be wrong. In 2012, you had all yeah. these liberal networks with the Republican primary candidates pitting one against the other, asking wedge question issues that then would later be used by the Democratic candidate, in this case against Mitt Romney. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. And part of our problem, too, is that we need to control the debates. The party needs to control the debates. And we need to make sure that we've got rules in place that put forward a debate with a reasonable amount, uh, a form with a reasonable amount of debates, so our candidates can have reasonable exchanges. The problem we have now is we've got a bunch of moderators who are in the business of making news at the expense of our party and our candidates. And we can't do it anymore. It's not an establishment takeover. This is, like, this is using your brain and controlling the brand of your party, and that's what we need to do. Yeah, I, I, tell me, I thought, did you think during some of these debates that, that it was the, the questioners that wanted to be the stars? They didn't want answers. They wanted to fight with the candidates. Well, well, that's right, and, and they push these candidates into positions in, in, in ridiculous hypotheticals that are never going to be reality. All they do is, is have a slice and dice each other for an entire year. And my point is this, you know, we have to control the referees that we're bringing into our playground. And right now, I, don't, I can't trust two organizations that are willing to spend millions of their own dollars in promoting a candidate that they know is gearing up to run for president. If it's no big deal and it's just sort of this even-handed review of Hillary Clinton, fine. Then just wait two years, and, and when she doesn't run for president, then move forward with your documentary. Nothing's going to change. Hillary will be here for plenty of years for us to produce movies and documentaries about Hillary Clinton. That's all. Do you think it was a mistake to allow or uh, so many debates and to allow the candidates to debate on networks that you know have a liberal bias? 
Here's the problem, Sean. Yeah, and the answer is yes, but for the first time in the history of our party, the Republican National Committee has rulemaking authority now, and we can tie the debate calendar. We can tie who the moderators are going to be to the nomination for president in our rule book. We couldn't do that before. And so now we can say, here's going to be the debate calendar. Here is who the moderators are going to be. Here are the debate partners. And to the candidates, you can participate in these debates. But if you participate in debates other than the ones that are on the calendar, well, then there's going to be penalties. Part of our problem before is that when you have, you know, 12, 20 people running for president, if 11 people raise their hand to any two-hour debate offered, then guess what? You've got a debate every two weeks, and that's an unhealthy thing for our party. So we're doing a couple things. We're getting a hold of the debate calendar, number one. But number two, we're also going to get a hold of who the moderators of these debates are. And I think it's about time. If there's any criticism, I think, for our party, it's that why did you wait so long? And to that, I say good point, but we're addressing it, and we're starting right now at CNN and NBC. Sounds very smart. Ryan's Priebus, uh, good. I, you know, I like to see town halls. I like when the people get to ask questions and, and oh, yeah. when the candidates get to debate each other. It's not about whoever is moderating, in my, in my humble opinion. So. I think Lincoln Douglas debates are another good option I for love us. That and idea. do a few of those as well. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. All right, uh, Ryan's Priebus, mm -hmm. thanks.